Oh, okay. Uh, so uh, Yulia doesn't want to appear on camera because she hasn't had a chance to do her hair. So, so she's just nearby here. So, okay. Let's give these words a try. Ten words you already know in Russian. Uh, this is on the topic of tourism, tourism too. And the first one is airport. Airport. Pilot. Pilot. Souvenir. Souvenir. Limousine. Limousine. Uh, deluxe. Не знаю. Lux. 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 <laughs> uh, trolleybus. Trolleybus. Ballet. Ballet. Uh, theater. Тоже не знаю. Театр. Театр. <laughs> Gallery. Галерея. Opera. Opera. Okay, good. That's all I need. Okay, you can you can stay if you want. Okay, so yeah, you can see there's a couple words she didn't recognize when I said them completely with my American so was a deluxe in the, in the, what was that, theater? Theater, yeah, I thought theater she'd get for sure. Okay, so, so sometimes it helps if you can get the accent a little bit better. Okay, oh, and accent, it's the same. It's all the same, isn't it? Uh, okay, so uh, uh, airport, okay, so uh, you, you thought when, airport, you thought when you went to the airport everybody spoke English, but actually it's just you speak Russian with a bad accent. Uh, airport, that's, that's the way you're supposed to say it. And then uh, the next one is pilot. Now, I actually don't know why you would need to know the word pilot, pilot. But I think if you're in the plane and all of a sudden you get some really rough turbulence, you just wham. You could just look at everybody and say, pilot, yes. <laughs> is there a pilot up there? <laughs> it could be, it would get a laugh after a, a little bit of shaky time, okay? So uh, it could work, could work well. Unless it, 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 the turbulence gets worse and then the humor might be lost, okay? And then if the plane does hit, now this is a joke, it's just a joke. Don't actually think this way, okay? If the plane does hit, shattered into a thousand pieces or a billion pieces, and you manage to survive and you pick up a piece of the plane, you can look at everybody and say, souvenir. <laughs> and, and that'll get a laugh, too. Well, maybe not. Okay, yeah, I guess these jokes aren't working, are they? Okay, I better skip ahead, huh? Uh, oh, and limousine. I don't think I've ever ridden in a limousine, ever, in my life. Uh, but I've noticed that when you're looking at, uh, you know, places to rent right now, you know, I mean, uh, like buses away and stuff. That if you get a group, a uh, limousine is looking like a pretty good bargain. Some of these rentals, you know, instead of a taxi or a bus or something. So it's a limousine, limousine, limousine. Uh, deluxe, that means first class. Usually it's the train here. Two people to a compartment. You don't have to share with an army of people. And that's lux. So deluxe, lux. And that's the one she didn't recognize as well. So uh, two people to a compartment instead of four, which would be the second class. And then in with about 30 people, that's third class. But third class is fine too. It's good to have friends. And then if you're like me and you're going to travel cheap, the first 20 years I, I traveled all by bus, trolleybus, autobus, but I couldn't learn how to spell autobus. So uh, autobus, that's a bus, okay? Trolleybus, so okay. And then if you're going to go to Moscow or St. Petersburg, you've got to get the ballet, ballet. So you've got to go because it's, it, it's, it's the premier ballet in the world. And even in the other satellite countries, ballet is a really big deal. Really big. So you got to take in the ballet. Ballet. People ask you, did you go to the ballet? Did you go to the Bolshoi Ballet? The big ballet? And you say, no, no, no. Then they'll go, oh, you didn't really go then. Okay, uh, theater, theater. And uh, this could be, uh, I guess it would be kino theater, cinema, kino theater. You can go there. They have lots of English uh, now these days, too. So if you would go, I like to do that during while I'm traveling. Go to the English language theater. Just look at them and say, English? And if they, if they don't understand that, they don't have English at the, at the theater, okay? So that would be enough. But normally theater, but maybe you'd be going to uh, pantomime type of thing, you know, or, or something like that. Actually, it would be more likely the Philharmonic where they play music. Uh, and uh, Galleria. So it's, I've noticed that people do things they, they would never do normally, you know. When you travel, you kind of get more sophisticated. And so they say, let's go to the Galleria, the gallery, Okay. And then the last one is opera. Now, I like opera. I like opera. And I bet you do, too. We just like it in English. I hate them. And you don't understand a word they're saying. I want real opera in English. I can understand. Andrew Lloyd Webber, he writes all those operas. You guys know that, right? Okay, Jesus Christ Superstar. It was an opera. Uh, it was all in English. It was rock music. Uh, fan of the opera. It's opera. Yeah, it's all, all music. No, no words. Uh, the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Well, maybe that one wasn't opera. But oh, I got a big story on that. But I'm out of time and I can't tell.